<laughs> All right, let's move on right on over here. Hi, I'm Hi. Ashley. I actually felt bad for popping my balloon because it's like you seem like such a good energy and it's like it's I'm trying so hard not to curse. It's a part of my <laughs> It's a messed up to just like pop some a balloon based off like physical because you just seem like you have so much more to you. You know, and I appreciate your age. Do you have children? Yes. Do you want any more? No. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. But the thing is, it's like my oldest son, I'm done having kids too. My daughter is my oldest. She's 23. My young, my oldest son is 19, like as of last week. Yeah. And he's, this dude is like 6'4". Like my kids, like I come from like a family of big guys. Yeah, yeah. And I just like... You know, they talk a lot of shit. We talk a lot of shit at home. Yeah. And I just don't want you to come in and they be like, what the fuck you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I am so sorry yeah. <laughs> for all these curse words. But, you know, but you seem like a really dope person. Like, mm. you really seem like a dope person. Thank you. Like, you seem like a dope person. And if you were to approach me on the street, I would probably, like, talk to you and, like, you know, dig a little bit deeper and like see what you were about or whatever. But damn. Yeah, first impression. Like I'm everything. a big woman. Like without heels, I'm five six, but I'm big energy. Like yeah. you know, like yeah. I'm big, and I need you to like come with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's all. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and you're beautiful. I love it. I love the short hair. I love the natural look. I, I love your lips. I am newly bald-headed, okay? Like, I literally just I did it. this, and I just colored my hair, like, yesterday or the day before. Yeah. Yeah, like yesterday, so. But, yeah. dang. And then I... And the, my yeah. best relationship was with a Taurus, for real. Nice. Like, for real. So, I appreciate Taurus. Like, Taurus are, like, dope as fuck. Like, I'm an Aquarius. We're hella flighty, so we need some freaking grounding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, oh my God, my family is a big part of my life, and I just don't know how that would mesh. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I get you it. Cool as fuck, though. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> and you don't want to work kids. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm done with that. You're done. Okay. And now, um, I know you said she's beautiful and all that. So, is she your type? She's someone that you would approach? Yeah, I would approach you if I saw you at a anywhere. Where are you from? I'm for, I was born in Cleveland, raised in LA. Oh my God, my fucking Taurus ex. I'm so sorry <laughs> for cursing. I'm sorry. My Taurus ex was from Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will say this. I am like <laughs> underestimated sometimes, but I'm, you know, I, not to be boastful or nothing, but I got my shit together. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like... Uh, I don't know. I always get that. Oh, I'm gonna call him after they call the other guys. They call me and be like, "Oh, I should have talked to you first. So, How old are your kids? Whoa. So I have a 21 year old, and I have a eight. I mean, I have a seven and a three year old. Why you start over? I got married again. I've been divorced oh, for two okay. years. Oh. Yeah, oh. been divorced. Oh my gosh! My wife didn't have to work for five years, by the way. Thank you very much. I ain't got time for no two-year-olds. I'm trying to move around the country. <laughs> I work for an airline, and I like to travel. I like to experience different stuff, and my kids are grown, yeah. so I can move around. I don't got time for I don't got no babysitter. Well, I take care of that because I am um, I'm a single dad, and they're gonna they're gonna come live with me. But like like I said, I'm not bragging or nothing, but. I got my shit together where I pay for daycare or I pay for somebody. I like to travel myself. I'm a traveling musician. I toured for 15 years playing on some of the biggest stages you know of. And I just, you know, you got to prioritize your time. And yeah. my kids are the first ones on my priority list. So I prioritize my life after that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Damn, you seem dope as fuck that. Sorry. What do you think, <laughs> Ashley? What do we, do you want the balloon bag? What are we saying? Yeah, right in his hand. Go on, give me that balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Can you grab that for <laughs> uh, Okay, all right. Thank you. I'm feeling this. You were feeling it too. Yeah, no, like, you know, it's kind of fucked up. Like, you know, you come out, the person come out, and it's like, pop, pop, damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad it's I'm not insecure. Like, you, you know, so. Yeah. Okay. Good. You know, we could work on everything else. We grown. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Let, me just, shit don't let me just bring you on out here, Ashley. Let's let's go back on up here. Because, right. you know, I was feeling the vibes between the two of you. 
<laughs> so I just have one final question. So Ashley, is it going to be a yes for you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He finna take me off the net. Bye, <laughs> And is it a yes for you? Yes. Oh, my God. We got our first match. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you, Bob. All right. Yeah, I know that was a couple minutes. Uh, go ahead, Vince. You want to say something, man? To answer Johnny's questions, that's a sip. That's mm. a sip. Right? Why would he pick her? <laughs> that's, that's a sip. Like, a man who's on a certain level. I don't have to explain myself. You pop your balloon? Okay, thanks. I know what I got to offer. I got to sit up here and try to sell myself to you. Who are you, a damn flight attendant with two kids? That's what I was thinking. That's that. That's a simp to answer your question. That's a simp. Okay. Got me right. upset over here. That man is a good construction worker, a good father of divorce. He got to sit up there and sell himself to some 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 thoughts. Piss me off too. <laughs> Thank you, Shantae. Okay, so well, can you comment? Let's see. Shantae said, "I didn't get sent vibes. I, I got either. introvert." Okay. I didn't get I didn't get sent back. So no, I got I got simp. You know why he's simping? Because he is, he he's trying to sell himself. When okay, she well, said, "Okay, you ain't the one for me." Okay, next. I know what I got. I don't have to sit up here and explain myself to you. Bingo. I was driving around in a fifteen passenger van. Six figure nigga, for real. You think I'm going to sit up here and explain myself because you see me in my jogging suit and in a van and you're going to say, oh, I, you got a 15 passenger van. Yup, I sure do. Just, just because you cute and you coming out the gas station, you a little Cena, that's simp energy. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and finish because... Let I, me let him, yeah, go ahead, Cole. Let me let you go. That's why his wife yeah. left him. That's why his wife left him. Go ahead, uh, go ahead, Claude. I want everybody to get a chance to go. Go ahead. I, I agree, Shante. I, I didn't get I didn't get simp. Um now maybe he shouldn't have to sell himself, but it is a dating show. So that's kind of what you do on a dating show. Now, mind you, maybe if he was out on the street, it would have been a different kind of vibe. But he went on a dating show, a dating show where women literally pop balloons superficially. Like that's literally what they do. He could have turned her down because she popped her balloon on some old superficial stuff and then wanted to double back. Um, but, the, you know, I mean, maybe maybe he maybe. But you know what? I don't know what he see in her. He might see a good time in her. And I guess if he see a good time in her, then and what's the harm in them having a good time? I mean, that's what y'all say. So. But her I age, didn't simp, I didn't get, I didn't get simp more so than I maybe he saw an opportunity. I didn't get simp though. Well, well, the reason that why hurt. I say simp because it's like even with the first lady, he just liked her because she was cute. I mean, my thing is like you don't hear men because I don't know if y'all seen this one guy. He was on one of the dating shows and he said he didn't want to date a baby mother. And they jumped down his throat when he was just saying what he wanted. He said he didn't want to date a woman with a child because he didn't feel like he had to. And they jumped down his throat. Remember that? Well, I don't know if y'all seen that. But you, you know, single mothers are beautiful. And da 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 It's not the same energy. You know what I'm saying? Because his thing could have been, well, you know, I got kids, but you got two grown kids. So what are you talking about? And you're a flight attendant. And you don't like me because your family got... It was just, it, he, he didn't really come at her with like, wait a minute, hold up, sister. You ain't 100% either. He came out, oh, you're beautiful. You, you, yeah, I would love to. That's that pandering. Sip, sit, you know what I'm saying? Just be a, you ain't all that either. That's all I'm saying. It was just this whole, and then see, that's why the, the women, you know, it be, it's like, okay, well, you fat. But you'll never hear a man go on one of them shows, but ooh, you, you're a little overweight for me. But then say, oh, you short. Or, oh, you dress like a teenager. But but the men have to pander to them. Oh, well, she, oh yeah, I would date her. She's beautiful. She average looking. She's just young and light-skinned and cute. So what? Well, I was going to say, the woman 
at her age, she should know better. Like, I wouldn't even pop my balloon until I want to hear him speak. I want to hear his, I want to feel his energy. I want to hear his words, you know? So at her age, if she doing that automatically, he should have kept her, he should have kept it moving with her. No, That's because he in it for, he in it for what he can get out of it. I don't see how y'all don't see that. I get it, but I don't but, see how y'all don't see that. I get it. I would have Vince. What did you say? And that's you, the pandering in the set because a real man gonna get it anyway. He ain't got a pander to it. But Vince, what did you say? He's gonna respect the gangster in me. I, Vince, first of all, as soon as the brother came out, balloons was popping. Yeah, then once the brother started talking, some more balloons popped. And by the time it was said and done, everybody had popped a balloon. Now, to Chloe's point, a lot of the young ladies before the young lady that I played in the second half, you know, they were shooting the brother down for his outfit, you know, how tall he was, just, just superficial nonsense. They were shooting the brother down. Don't know nothing about the brother. But then you come to the young lady, Ashley, this is the lady in the, in the black skirt. And mind you, she had popped her balloon as well. But then she started talking to the man. So she's putting together what he said to the other young ladies. Then she starts having a conversation with the man. And as the farther she gets into the conversation, she starts to realize that he might not be that bad of a guy. Then after all of it said and done with his children, with his situation, and like I said, I think my man was transparent with his situation and what he does and, you know, being divorced and all of that. But by the time it was said and done, she wanted her balloon back. Yep, she wanted a second chance. Yep, and the reason why, like I said, I locked in on that point is because that's some of our problem today. Yeah, we want to look at these guys because of their height. We want to look at these guys because of uh, going back to the first video, because they ain't got the plan laid out. They can't give you the step by step. But sometimes, not all the time, sometimes if you just take a minute to talk to somebody. If you just take a minute to have a conversation with somebody that you normally may not talk to or may not be your quote-unquote preference physically that may end up being your guy yep that's the piece i took from that now i'm not saying that my man may have may not have had an ulterior motive but i can listen to that young lady ashley talk and she was her mind was spinning and she started thinking about things to the point where she got to the point where said, we grown, we can figure the rest out. Yep, yeah, that is what a lot of ladies today would call settling. She just did it right there and then told all those girls that was in line to pick their balloons back up and treat them like roses because y'all going to be throwing these roses when she go get married to this man. Yep, and Donovan made a comment as well and said a lot of those ladies probably now thinking about could they have a second chance or basically regretting the fact that they had already popped their balloon before they got a chance to know my man and hear what he was about. Yep, and that was the gem in that video. Yeah, we pass up so many good people because we caught up on all this material nonsense. Yep, the first young lady 